210 Boxing TV here I with Justin Cordona. Uh, you fight on the PBC, 8-0. and You got a big fight coming up October 8th. Uh, let's talk about it a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, Justin Stanley Cardona. I'm um, 8-0, 4 KOs. 5 KOs, sorry. And uh, I'll be fighting October 8th in L.A. You fighting at 130 or 135? I'll be fighting at uh, 132 catch 130, weight. 132 catch weight, okay. How is it being on this kind of on this kind of on this kind of level? You know, you're gonna be fighting. It's gonna be a showtime, but you're probably gonna be like on the untelevised card, but still fighting on that kind of event where you're moving up to where in the future, you know, you're gonna be on those showtime slots. I mean, I'm really excited. It's my first eight rounder, and I mean, I believe it'll, it'll be televised. It'll be a private opening fight or something. But okay, you think you're, you're you'll be on the showtime card? Yeah. Okay, that's 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 dope. So I mean, I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's a rush. It's a rush. For first eight rounder. That's what I've always been looking forward to stepping up the whole time. Let the fans know a little bit about you, like how old you are and about your background. Um, so I'm 22. I'll be 23 in October. I'm from Salinas, California, but I train out of Gilroy, California, with uh, uh, Ruben Mad Dog Guerrero and his son Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Cool, cool. Uh, what about your amateur background? How many amateur fights did you have? And talk about that. I, I started boxing at the age of seven, mm -hmm. and I went pro at the age of 18, and I had about between 90 and 100 fights and majority of those are wins do you, do you feel like the pros is better for you than the amateurs you know the amateurs is three rounds it's more based on speed just throwing a lot of punches do you feel oh, like yeah. the pros is more your I style i felt i had more of a, a professional style mm -hmm. not not so much of an amateur style so that's why i just at right when i turned 18 and graduated out of high school i turned pro you felt like that was the best fit for you yeah definitely talk about working with the guerreros how was that uh robert guerrero's dad he He's a character. He's pretty funny, man. How was that working with yeah, him? Yeah, it's always last in the gym with him, dude. Even Robert Guerrero. But training alongside with them, it's it, it's amazing. They they push me every day to my limits, and especially training with Robert, we push each other. And he's like a big brother to me, and I see his dad as a father, a second father as well. Robert Guerrero being a multi division champion, how is that getting that push from them? You know, them pushing you to be that next guy. They want to see you make it. You know, out of their territory in California. Oh, that's amazing. I mean that's every boxer coming up that's their dream to have someone like that by their side teaching them you know do you feel like that helps that, that that's that's what every young boxer needs somebody to uh, let's say a mentor right like sort of like a mentor somebody to guide them like hey man you know you do this do that because you know robert Guerrero, he's he's been through it all he's yeah. fought mayweather he's it's good to know. have a mentor and have some help there that i mean i appreciate everything that they do for me and all the help that they give me so i, mean, I wouldn't be here or where i'm at today without them how important in boxing is it to have a good team around you? Uh, it's very important. I mean, if you don't have a good team, what, what are you going to do by yourself? You know? I mean, yeah, boxing is one of the most loneliest sports, but with the team behind you, I mean, you got everything. Because it's, it's one sport where, you know, they look at it like, okay, you're by yourself. It's a singular sport, right? But there's a whole team that comes atta attached to it. There's strength and conditioning. There's the, you know, the, 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 the trainer. There's, you know, the guys that, you know, keep you, keep you on, you know, on, on your P's and Q's. Yeah. And is, do you feel like that's the best fit with you with the Guerreros right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's the best. If you had to describe your fighting style, somebody's never watched you before, how would you describe the way you fight? Uh, I'm a boxer puncher, man. Boxer puncher? Yeah. I, mean, I, look, I, could, I could throw down if you want. I can box if you want. You know, that's how it is. It, it's basically whatever um, whatever the time is, is for it, basically. If it's time to box, if it's time to fight, exactly. you, you're going to you're gonna basically adjust on the fly? Exactly. All right, man. Let the fans know where they catch you on social media. Uh, you just follow me, Justin Cardona. That's what it is on Instagram. And uh -huh. you do that or look up Stallion, and it'll pop up. All right, Stallion. Holler at me. All right, Thank man. You. Holler at you, man. Thanks.